Greetings one hour one life family I welcome you in this video Today I'm going to explain this design named the box town Disclaimer I'm not a veteran player I'm just a dude who like to organize stuffs a little bit So if you see stuffs that need to be improved in this design feel free to comment down below Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. Now why I created this design? The main theme of this design is balance between order, appeal, and practicality. This is what I'm looking for in every town I saw. In this design, the flow of people is controlled. The people is manipulated by the arrangement of walls and doors so they are always guided to pass frequently in the town square. Now why manipulate the people's flow? It's because I'm one of those who love to observe others. It's easier to predict where people go if the layout helps you so let's take for example this is me standing in the town center i just observe where other people are going and when i see something suspicious like this guy here taking buckets of water on his main gate i will follow and observe what he is doing if he is doing something good i leave him alone and tell him good job cousin but if he is planting a ton of berries, I'm definitely gonna stop him. Now you get the idea, right? It is for monitoring purpose. Now why there are a lot of cistern here in the town center? This is simply because without water, a town will not survive. So we'll just have to save up tons of them in the town from outside source we will encourage people to bring in water from ponds and outside wells to secure the future of the town now people suggest that this town is too small or this design needs more doors worry not my family you can modify this design to your heart's content but follow these rules so the design won't lose it's crowd manipulating function fully here is an example art on how to expand and place doors for purposes such as farming ranching additional space or adding more facilities you can make a property fence like this for purposes such as adding entry and exit points Make a small property fence like this. The reason why it is arranged like this is so outsiders will have to pass in the main gates and be subjected to the eyes of observant ones like me. If they are diplomatic, they will be allowed to roam, but if they're rude and take stops without permission, they will end up like this. In times of peace, we'll just allow all these main gates open. But in times of conflict, we will seal the gates with property fans. Now let's talk briefly about the facilities present in this town. First one is the nursery which is also our clothing storage we'll stock this place with clothing at least efficient ones such as mufflon hides so when moms drops babies here they can also provide clothing immediately near the nursery is the kitchen where we stock ingredients and cook variety of stuff which we will place here in the available storage spaces or an expansion room outside this kitchen hopefully young moms are the ones cooking so they can also tend 
to babies in the nursery. Now let's move here in the northeast corner. Everyone's favorite is the yum room. Here we stock ready to eat food unlike the kitchen where we also stock raw ingredients such as uncooked meat. Here we simply enter and enjoy ready to eat meals. Hopefully some good kitchen people will arrange the finished products here. For example, broth and stew crocks will be placed here in the center. And hopefully some people are good enough to gather wild and exotic foods and store here as well. Near the yum room is the weapon storage. This is where we keep and use tools of death and hopefully if people find some scattered weapons around they will bring it here for safe keeping. Also nearby is a clinic where we store medical treatment utensils. Hopefully someone will care to stock it so we can treat those who deserve medical attention. Here in the northwest corner is our forge where we craft and keep most of our tools. Maybe we can make expansion fence here in the north or in the west because people suggest that this place needs more room. Here in our southwest corner is the library and parking space. In the library, we keep useful information such as locations of nearby towns and resources. And we also keep notes about our town rules, traditions, and jobs. Outside the library are these storage spaces where we keep a good stack of papers. The one who will make papers will work in this space provided here. It is important to keep a good stack of papers so when foreign visitor comes and tie their horses here in the parking lot, they could converse with the locals through notes. So that is all my explanation on this design and let me know what is your opinion about it in the comment section below. I hope you had fun watching this video and see you on next video if I do create any. May your families last hundreds of generations and may Jason bless us all. Have fun playing!